guys, welcome back. So this weekend we're going to Tugaloo State Park in Georgia and we're going to do a series on towing with a half ton. As you see we've got the Ram loaded up, it's a Ram 1500. This was our original tow vehicle. The reason why we're not taking this is because Alfredo bought a new truck, as you can see here. I have given him my 350 to use so he can tow his fifth wheel. This one doesn't have enough miles on it to tow right now. so. He's gonna tow with my truck, and we're gonna tow with Paola's truck, which was our original tow vehicle. So now we gotta pack and get on the road. Babe, are you ready? So, while I'm waiting for Paul to get ready, uh, let me explain to you a little bit what we do when we go out. We have all our lighting in this house on Lutron Lighting Control. And it's app driven, and you can control all your lights via the app. And it's got this one cool feature. If you go into the Lutron app, and you can go to, it used to be called vacation mode, now I think it's smart lighting. Um, you can actually check that on, and what it will do is between the hours of 6 to 11, we've got ours programmed a little bit longer than that, but it will turn on and off individual lights for an hour or two at a time, rotating throughout your house to appear that somebody's still living in your house. We use this a lot when we're going out camping and RVing. It's a pretty cool feature. If you'd like some more information about it, leave a comment below. I happen to own a home automation company. We do home theaters and home automation custom remote controls, so it's kind of nice to get to play with these toys in my house. But I'd be more than happy to go into more detail about it if it's something you guys are interested in. Hey, are you ready? So you're not ready? But are you ready? It's not so much the waiting, it's the anticipation. Babe, are you ready? Here's a fun fact for you. We have 813 splatter marks on our textured ceiling. I didn't know that. Every time we go camping, Carly's got this sad face like we're gonna leave them. We're not gonna leave you. Carly, wanna go camping? Let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride, let's go. We gotta do this all over again when we come back. Yes. <laughs> Why? Oh. Because we gotta reset up the truck. Oh. You like your toy? Are you playing with the toy? This toy is amazing. <laughs> See all the power I use. So the clip goes inside here. Just put on hang bar. This is what you call teamwork.
Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are in Tugaloo State Park. Now we pulled in pretty late at night, so we didn't have a lot of video of us getting in there. There is a hairpin corner that we had to navigate. Fortunately, one of the campsites was empty, so we were able to back the rigs up to be able to make a three-point turn. We really like this campground. Again, we got a couple back in sights right in front of the lake, and the views are really amazing. Now we did tow here with our half-ton truck, and we're gonna do a segment on half-ton towing for you this weekend. But right now, we're getting ready to go check out the park and do a little bit of exploring. If you haven't already, guys, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot more great content coming. Next trip, we're heading to Texas for the Christmas week. We've got a lot of stuff planned, making a couple different stops. We're gonna be doing a lot of boondocking and possibly even dry camping on the beach. So make sure you don't miss that episode. Thanks for joining us. Started, but we have our own form of wipeout. Tugaloo State Park wipeout. Do you have to take You win it, you had a award. Vamos a abrir, a ver, a ver, a ver. No quiero con kick the ball. Vamos. Ya llega, ya llega, escórrele. Volad, está volad. No vayas de cabeza, no. No, no. Bueno, sí. 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 No. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's have an honest conversation about half-ton towing. Now, there's a lot of information out there as far as what kind of RV you can get and what kind of tow vehicle you should pair it with. And while I agree with a lot of it, I want to have an honest real-world conversation about towing with a half-ton. The truth is, this was our first tow vehicle for our rig. Now, I do agree with a lot of the advice that says you should always get more truck than what you need to tow the camper. It will always make for a better towing experience, but a lot of us at the time of buying an RV don't have the luxury of getting a big one-ton truck. So I want to give you some real-world examples of what is possible. So first of all, let's start with our trailer. It is a Cherokee 304BH. BH stands for bunkhouse. It's a 34-foot camper, but tip to tail, it's 37 when you include the hitch to the bumper. So it's a long trailer. GVWR is a little over 11,000 pounds. Dry weight is a little over 8,000 pounds. So it is a heavy beast, especially for a half ton. This is something we were really concerned with. Now, big shout out to Mark Tuggle RV, who sold us the camper. The owner of the RV dealership, Mark, actually let us drive this truck to his dealership before we purchased the RV, hooked up a weight distribution system to our truck and let us take it for a test drive. I don't know a lot of dealerships that will let you do that, but know that it is possible. So if you can find a dealership that will let you do that to actually test drive a rig, I would highly recommend you do it. I would say that that test drive was what sealed the deal for us and really allowed me to feel comfortable purchasing this rig. So now let's talk about the tow vehicle. This is a Ram 1500. It has the 5.6 liter V8 Hemi in it. As far as power goes, this Hemi has plenty of power to tow this camper. Now let's talk about numbers. This has a little over 1,500 pounds of payload. Now, there's a couple things we did. About every time we went out for the first couple months that we've had this towing, we would always hit a cat scale. So we have a lot of numbers. I would highly recommend all of you take your campers with your trucks to a cat scale and weigh them. Now the number that really mattered to me was the rear axle rating. We do not exceed our rear axle rating in this truck. Also, loading the camper. GVWR of a little over 11,000 pounds. I will tell you that we maximum load 1,000 to 1,500 pounds on this camper. It is capable of towing a lot more and if we fully loaded it, we would exceed our towing capabilities of this truck. There's a couple things we did to this truck to make it tow capable. Number one, when we first hooked it up, it did squat a little bit. What we did, we looked at airbags and ultimately we settled on Timbrance, which are like a rubber form of airbags. They sit about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch off the frame and when the truck squats they actually engage and it is not as squishy they have a lifetime warranty you don't have to worry about airing them up and they're a lot cheaper you pretty much put them in they stay there that really eliminated the squat in this truck the other thing you need to look for is tires so the tires that we had were p-rated tires that came on this truck we did upgrade them to lt tires which gives us a stiffer sidewall it did give us a stiffer ride, but the pound rating that the tires can hold exceeded what we really needed, which gave us peace of mind for not having a tire blowout in the back. Now, one other upgrade we did was to upgrade the side mirrors of the truck. Now, the half-ton trucks come with these short little side mirrors. We did upgrade to these tow mirrors. The Ram HD truck tow mirrors actually flip up to give you more space to be able to see your camper and also have this wide body bottom section to be able to see around. Now they do make mirrors that will actually just slip over your existing factory setting. They're a lot cheaper. These were actually very expensive. We got these because at the time we had the vehicle, the plan was not to upgrade the truck. So we went ahead and spent the money on a factory mirror that would actually install on the factory mounting location. So now that we talked about numbers, let's talk about towing. I will tell you that the first thing that you really need to invest in is a good weight distribution hitch along with a sway control of some kind. 
we run the equalizer hitch on this. Now we have tried a bunch of different hitches and equalizer actually worked out the best for us. One caveat to that, after towing this rig for over a year now and upgrading to an HD truck, I would tell you that if we were not going to upgrade the truck, I would look into a much better, more sophisticated hitch, such as the Hensley hitch, which practically eliminates the sway. We've never experienced sway in this truck, and we're gonna do another video about towing with sway. What we do experience is trailer wiggle. Now there is a difference between trailer sway and wiggle, and especially with a travel trailer, you will always get some wiggle. Now, as to how much wiggle you get is gonna depend on what truck you're towing with. Now, as far as real world towing, if you're a weekend camper and you're wanting to get a big travel trailer with your half ton truck just to go to local campgrounds, this is totally, completely doable. We have towed this to many campgrounds. We have towed it to neighboring states for week vacations and it towed beautifully. I would say if you're looking at real travel across country, this is probably not the truck for you. After towing with an HD truck, I will tell you the towing experience is night and day. That is not height. When you hear these videos about getting more truck than what you need, I absolutely agree with it. So to sum it all up guys, I will tell you that if you're just a weekend camper and you're looking into getting RVing and you have a big family would like a big travel trailer, I want to tell you that it is possible. Make sure you do it safely. Make sure you know your numbers. Make sure you don't put your family or anyone else in jeopardy, but it is possible. Start where you can, start having fun, start camping. This is a prime pooping position. <laughs> Bing! Puppy, why are you smiling? I don't know, it's something fascinating watching your poop uh, the camera. Ew! Out. Yeah, a lot of people don't like this part of our venus. It's actually not bad. I'm not saying it's my favorite part. But... Oh yeah, you don't want to make mistakes. We have make mistakes. <laughs> you don't want to make the mistake we make. Especially if you want to unhook the camper and you don't chop the wheel, that's what <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You don't want to do that. With your Especially wife. if your wife is inside. inside the camper. I was trying to hold the camper. Baby, hey, come back. Don't leave. We got Missiana, right? Or Mississippi? Mississippi. Hey, Missiana. You mind not touching my camper with your poop gloves? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I like the handle right here. No, <laughs> no, do not touch it. <laughs>